I've been looking for years for an opportunity to put Titanic back on the big screen because that's really where it belongs. So we started to explore the idea of converting Titanic to 3D. The question was, when do we do it? And I always felt that the centenary of the real sinking would be a perfect opportunity. The movie is about relationships and our feelings for each other, and so parents were taking kids, and kids, adult kids, were taking their parents. It was this transgenerational sharing kind of experience, and people were really choosing who they were gonna re-experience the movie with, and I actually think it could work the same way in this re-release. You have a gift, Jack. You see people. I see you. Titanic's my baby. So, you know, of course I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and get involved in, in every step of the process. We started with how do we make Titanic everything that, that it can be before we put it in 3D. So we cleaned it up and made it as pristine as possible before we even started the conversion process. So if you even watch it in 2D, it looks more amazing, I would say, than it did in 97 when it was first released. 3D definitely enhances small human interaction. Intimate moments are very powerful in 3D because you feel like you're really there. When the ship docks, I'm getting off with you. Iceberg, run ahead! Converting a film to 3D is not a magic wand. You have to create everything when there's no 3D information from that original moment of photography. I wanted it to be the equivalent to what it would have looked like if we had actually shot it in 3D. So if I'm gonna do a conversion, it has to live up to that standard. It's so gorgeous and lush, and you feel like you're in these amazing spaces on board the ship, or you're right there going through the jeopardy that Jack and Rose go through. Do not let go of my hand! And it really kicks it up to a whole other level. I think Titanic will have a different meaning to people who saw it 14, 15 years ago that have gone on in their lives, maybe gotten married, maybe they have children, maybe they're gonna look at love and life and what has meaning differently now than they did then. Maybe it'll be less about the glow of romantic love, which is a teenage idea, and more about that sense of, of duty and what we're here on this, this planet for and, and what we mean to each other and all those things that older audience members get out of it. So Titanic always has something for you, no matter what your age.